Hey everyone, welcome to That's Good Denver. I'm your host Chris Romeo, and I'll be we will be doing a recap season recap of the Denver Nuggets, and the Nuggets this past year were like the reigning, defending NBA champions, um, all year this past year. But then the Nuggets uh, lost to the Timberwolves in in round two, uh, so the Nuggets weren't able to repeat as champions. But you know they did have the target on their back all year. Um, you know, NBA ch champions are first in franchise history, and uh, but yeah, we're gonna get in the break breakdown of the Nuggets' future and uh, you know what happened against the Timberwolves in round two, and go from there. So the Nuggets were the reigning NBA champions all all year in 2024, but lost to the T Wolves in seven games in round two. Was this a bad, mediocre, or good season for the Nuggets? Um, I'd say it was still a good season, but, um, it was kind of a disappointment in the playoffs, like, mm -hmm. they brought back pretty much everyone but Bruce Brown and added a few rookies that are solid, um, yeah, I'd say it was just a good season, it wasn't, like, great or bad, but, I mean, anytime you're the number two seed, is a good season, but, uh, obviously, a little disappointing in the playoffs, but I expect them to be back next year in about the same position. Right. Um, I would say this is a good season for the Nuggets. It definitely wasn't, like, spectacular or anything, you know. Um, they had championship expectations again. And, um, you know, it, it's still a really good regular season. They finished 57-25. and 25. That beat their win, win total of the 2023 champion season. Um, and, you know, they showed great signs. They didn't quite get the one seed like they wanted to. And the Nuggets, they didn't really get any worse this offseason, but they also didn't get any better. So, like, they lost Bruce Brown, but then they bring in guys like Peyton Watson off the bench. Um, and, and, you know... They're, you know, they're, they're still a really good good team, you know, and they beat the Lakers like they did, like they were supposed to, and then, you know, they just ran into a bad matchup in round two against the T-Wolves, and that could have happened the last year, and, you know, that could always happen in the playoffs. So I still think it was a pretty solid season for the Nuggets, and I expect them to be just as good, if not better, next year. Um, after what we saw from the Nuggets the last two seasons, does Denver have a not so bright, bright, or very bright future? Uh, I still say their future is bright. I mean, they're not like super old, but they're not super young either. A lot of guys just like in their prime, so they still got a few, a few for sure years of contending. As long as Jokic is still in his prime, I'd say um, they might need to make a few moves to sustain that, but. Yeah, I'd say their future is still generally bright. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the Nuggets, they don't necessarily have, like, a very bright bright future. Like, I would say it's, like, in between bright and very bright. Um, you know, the Nuggets, they still got a decently young team. Jokic is 29 years old. Jamal Murray's like, 27. Um and the only old guys they have on their team are like DeAndre Jordan or Catavius Caldwell Pope, but everyone else is still decently young. Um, and they already got a ch championship under their belt and stuff. And, um, you know, uh, a lot of it goes into like, do the Nuggets need to make trades in their bench? Um, you know, possibly. But, um, you know, when you win the championship like you did last year, you know, the Nuggets didn't make any trades. And, but, and then I, people like me are wondering, why aren't the Nuggets making any trades? Well, it's like you just won the championship. So, um, you know, there's been talks about KCP, Catavius Caldwell Pope, leaving for next year. Um, so, you know, there's talks about that. But, you know, if they were to lose someone like KCP, that – you know, he's a replaceable guy in their lineup, so, um, you know, they would lose some defense, but that doesn't mean they can bring someone else in, so, uh, a lot of it depends on the moves the Nuggets make, as long as they're smart moves, 
and if they keep their core guys back, you know, I think the Nuggets got a, a pretty bright future. Like, the Nuggets' future is pretty bright, but it's not as bright as teams like the T-Wolves and the Thunder, who have very young teams and, you know, are very scary the next couple of years. For the Nuggets to win the championship in 2025, are there any trades that need to be made this offseason? Um, I don't know about trades, but they'll definitely need to bring in some more free agents to help their bench. Their bench really struggled in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. um, as far as trades, I don't really know who you would trade. Cause they, don't, they don't have many assets to make a big move unless you trade some of their starters, um, which you probably don't want to do. Um, so yeah, I don't know if a trade is the right move, but definitely sign, sign a few impact free agents to to boost the bench and hope that everyone else stays healthy. Right. Um I don't think I don't think the Nuggets need to make any trades in their starting lineup. The Nuggets starting lineup, Catavius Caldwell Pope, Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr., Aaron Gordon, Nikola Jokic. That's the same starting five they had when they won the championship last year. And um you know, a lot of it just depends on Jamal Murray staying healthy. But then with the bench, you know, their bench kind of struggles at times. And it struggles in, in, play, in the playoffs. Um, so, you know, I think you still keep guys like Peyton Watson and Christian Brown. But, you know, they could definitely tweak the bench. I think they should definitely add some more pieces in their bench. Definitely trade some players in their bench. And the Nuggets, are, even though they got bounced in the second round, they're still right there to win a championship, I think. I think they, I think the Nuggets could have definitely beaten the Mavericks in the conference finals. They could have even beaten the Celtics, um, depending on how well Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic do with their chemistry and playing well. So, um, you know, they're still right there. You know, they just might need to make some trades in their bench, and that's it. Um Nikola Jokic has three MVPs and a finals MVP. Could Jokic be a top 10 player all time by the end of his career? Um, I would say he definitely could. Um, I don't know where he'd rank right now. Probably oh, top 20, top 25. I'd say if he, if he wins another championship um, or another finals MVP or another MVP, like, he definitely has the pace to be top 10. Uh, you know, I have to do some more research on um, who my top 10 would be because I don't have a current top 10. But mm -hmm. uh, I would say he definitely, the way his career trajectory is going, he um, absolutely has a good chance to be a top 10 player of all time. Right. Um, yes, N Nikola Jokic, I mean... A lot of people are arguing that Nikola Jokic is top 12 all time, um, or top 15. Um, he's trending up there. Jokic is just now, not in the thick of his prime, getting maybe towards the end of his prime. I, I don't know. Jokic is definitely still in his prime right now, I think, uh, winning another MVP this year. Um, then he's still putting up great numbers. Um, I think Jokic would have to win another championship or two to to uh, make himself top 10 all, all time because there's so many great players that we don't even think of. Like everyone everyone says LeBron and LeBron James and Michael Jordan are number one, number two all time, but people also forget that Bill Russell won eight, eight championships. Larry Bird won a number of championships. So, y you know, you just got to keep those other players in mind when you say that. And, you know, I think it's very possible that Jokic cracks the top 10 all time a lot of people are saying Jokic is the best player in the NBA right now so we'll just have to see with Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. being inconsistent at times should the Nuggets trade one or both of these stars to get Luka Doncic to get Luka Doncic I don't think I don't think there's any kind of trade package the Nuggets could make that would make the Mavs trade Luka Doncic unless you traded Jokic, which obviously wouldn't happen. But yeah, I don't think Luka is going anywhere for a long time. Uh, should they trade Jamal or Michael Porter? Um, I mean, I, it depends on what they'd be getting back or who they'd be getting back. Like obviously, 
if they could trade for Luca, you do that. But uh, I don't think that's going to happen. And you know, if you get maybe a superstar in return for two of those guys, you could do it. But I would I would stick with the core they have right now. I think the group they have right now plays really well together, and they've developed really good chemistry. And it would hurt them more than help them to break it up at this point. Uh, yes, I mean, the, the, so the only reason why I bring this question up is because, like, there's been talk, of, a little bit of talk over the past year or two about Luka Doncic teaming up with Jokic and how how well Luka Doncic and Jokic know each other. They're great friends. They're both from Serbia. And, uh, you know, they joke around each other during all-star games, you know, dumping water on each other and whatnot. Um, you know, um... I think everyone, a lot of people in the NBA want to see Luka Doncic and Jokic team up because they have that chemistry, and Luka Doncic and Jokic would bring a couple more championships, I think at least. Um, you know, I, I just don't know if it would be worth it for the Nuggets to try to trade Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. to get Luka Doncic. Yeah, sure, Michael Porter Jr. is very inconsistent. Jamal Murray was inconsistent a lot this year, but... Um, you know, tra trading those guy guys get Luka Doncic, you know, like, would that even be enough? You know, you got to also think the Mavericks are in the NBA Finals this year, and Luka Donch that's because of Luka Doncic. So are the Mavericks really going to be willing to give up Luka Doncic to g get those players, you know, because um, Luka Doncic has made himself such a superstar in this league. So it would be nice to see Luka Doncic and Jokic team up, but... You know, I think it's best to just stick to the core guys. The Nuggets won their first championship in franchise history last year, but failed to repeat. How happy should the Nuggets still be after winning it all last year? Very happy, happy, or not that happy? Uh, I mean, they should be happy with the, the success they've had the last few years, like winning the championship. Um... Yeah, there's a lot to still be happy for. I mean, you got the best player in the league right now. You won the chip last year, and you had another, you know, fairly deep playoff run this year, and uh, you don't see any reason why they shouldn't make another deep run next year. So, no, I think there's still a lot to be happy for. Mm -hmm. Um, Yes, I, I think, uh, you know, winning the, the, cha the Nuggets winning the championship last year and being that dominant, you know, that was a big deal to the city of Denver, you know. The Nuggets went 47 straight years without winning the championship. And, you know, a lot of people are down about the Nuggets losing the T-Wolves in seven. But uh, you also got to think, you know, the Nuggets did win the championship last year. And repeating is so hard to do in any sport, you know. Just because you don't repeat doesn't mean you can't, be a, you can't even be a dynasty. Like, you know, the San Antonio Spurs from 2000-2010 the Spurs never repeated, and they became a dynasty. Um, the Warriors only repeated once in their dynasty. So, I mean, uh, how happy you should be? I'm not going to say very happy, but happy. And, like, um, the reason why I don't say very happy is because, like, yeah, the Nuggets won the championship. It's a, ne a championship that can never be taken away from it. But you don't want to just, like, roll over and uh, not win any more championships for, like, eight years, um, because, or, or whatever, you know, because even though it's talking about football, like when the Broncos won the Super Bowl with Peyton Manning, they haven't made it a playoffs since, and, you know, now Broncos fans are miserable. You, you don't want it to get to that point necessarily. So, like, um, with, you know, the Nuggets should be happy that they won the cha championship, but, like, you know, like Michael Malone says, you know, Michael Malone even said this at the championship parade when he was drunk. Uh, Ch Mike, Michael Mal Malone said, We're not satisfied with just one championship. We want more. We're going for a second championship next year. So, you know, I, I think Michael Malone is happy he won the championship last year, but he's, he's really pushing his guys to win more, you know. He was upset about the Game 7 loss, and, you know, he's. I think Michael Malone's going to be more hungrier than ever to win another championship next year and really push his guys. Um, so, yeah, he's got that killer instinct that you want from a head coach. And, yeah, like the Nuggets shouldn't be satisfied with one championship. We want more championships. You want to keep 
driving, you know. Um, you know, your goal isn't to win just one round of the playoffs. It's still go all the way. That's the ultimate goal, and you just got to keep pushing your guys. So the Nuggets should be happy, but not, like, you know, extremely. The, the Nuggets should be happy that they won the championship, but not, you know, we want more championships. Is what I'm, you know. Will the Nuggets win another championship in the Jokic and Murray era? If so, when will they or how many championships? Hmm. That's really hard to say right now uh, with all the young and upcoming teams there are in the league. But I would say they probably win one more. I wouldn't say they win more than one more, but I would, I'd would i be kind of surprised if they didn't win one more. Uh, as far as when, I mean, it could very well be next year. It could be the year after. But I would say if it's going to happen, it's going to be in the next two years probably will. Jokic is still mainly in his prime. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, some people say, you know, for how good Jokic is, a lot of people say it's almost impossible. It, I don't know about impossible, but, like, it'd be really hard for the Nuggets not to win one more championship. Um, you know, the Nuggets could very well win one next year, you know, depending on what kind of competition they face. The Nuggets could also win the championship two or three years from now. I think the Nuggets are right on the right there to do it to win another championship. Um, I, th I think the Nug Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic at least win one more championship together. Um, and whether the Nuggets win more championships, you know, it just depends on how good Yo Jokic is, you know. Um, Jokic is 29 years old, but, you know, he's got a big body, so, like, you know, for how, how big he is, um, you know, he, he might not be able to play as much longer when he, when he's, like, 32 years old, um, you know, so it depends how much longer Jokic is in his prime, or I think it really just depends on how much longer Jokic is with the Nuggets, which I think Jokic will play the rest of his career with the Nuggets, but um, I don't, you know, I just don't know how many years he'll have left in his career. I say Jokic has about eight or nine years left in his career um, at the most, I, I would say, which would make him retire at 38. And, like, you got people like LeBron playing until they're 40. Well, Jokic isn't as athletic as LeBron, so he's going to be cooked when he's 40 years old. <laughs> um, so, uh Yo, cause I see him playing another eight, eight to nine years, and, you know, that's definitely plenty of time to win one. I think that's plenty of time to win at least two. That's definitely plenty of time to win at least one championship. I think it's plenty of time to win two. Winning three championships would be a stretch. I mean, if the Nuggets do win three more championships in the Jokic era, I, in the Jokic era, I think you'd consider that as, as a dynasty. Um, but... I say Nuggets win one to two more championships. When that will be, you know, it just all, all depends. Um, the competition in the West is... Wait, I... Okay. The competition in the West is always very tough. Will the competition get easy, easier or harder in the coming years? Uh, it will definitely get harder because there's so many young and upcoming players in the West, like... OKC's got a crazy young core, and uh, the Wolves with Ant, and you got Wemby. Uh, I'm sure the Spurs will put a better team around him. Uh, you got other young teams like the Kings, who aren't going anywhere. Uh, the Warriors will probably still be good for a few more years, and uh, the Lakers too. Um, as long as LeBron and AD are still together, they'll still be um, a force to be reckoned with, and, uh, yeah, the Mavs, Luka, and Kyrie, I mean, the West is loaded, they're gonna have, they're gonna have their hands full to try and get back to another championship. Right. Um, I think the West will get better, uh, keep getting better, you know, you got the T-Wolves who are very young, Anthony Edwards is, like, 22 years old, and, you know, he's, you know, turning into one of the elite scorers in the league, uh, you got, the Thunder, who are a very young, very sneaky young team with Josh Giddy, Shea Gilgs Alexander. So, um, like we were talking about with who has the brighter future, 
The Nuggets have a bright future, but they don't have as bright of a future as the Thunder and T-Wolves, just because their futures look very bright. They're very young. They um, you know, are, are very good. They're contending in the West. Um, and then, yeah, you got to keep in mind the Mavericks are looking really good. Luka and Kyrie are starting to play very well together. The T-Wolves gave the Nuggets a lot of problems in the playoffs. you got Thunder, um, who match up well. You forgot to even mention Shet Holmgren. Um, you got the Mavericks, you got the Clippers, if they can figure things out, and Kawhi and Paul George can stay healthy together. You got, um, you got, so the Lakers and Warriors, they're very good still. And like, they got, you know, LeBron's the best player of all time. You got Steph Curry's the best shooter of all time. But I don't think teams got to worry as much about them anymore. And this is kind of a hot take, but like, LeBron is getting very old and. The Nuggets didn't seem to really have a problem playing the Lakers in the first round. They got by them easily um, in five games. Um, the Warriors, um, yeah, I mean, Clay Thompson was very inconsistent. The Warriors barely made it to the play-in. So, um, you know, Steph Curry's the greatest shooter of all time, and I love Steph Curry, but I just don't think the war the Warriors don't scare me really anymore. Um, the war. They're good, good teams that don't scare me. But then you got also got like Wemini, Victor Wembanyama. You know he might get some talent around him. Got the Kings. I think the I think De'Aaron Fox and the Kings offense. They have one of the best offenses in the league. They don't play good defense. They got great offense. Um. You also you also got um. I feel like I'm missing. a Got the Suns, maybe, um, if they can figure things out. But, like, I, I think the Nuggets are on a different level than the Suns. Sorry to my Suns fans who are in Arizona and all that. Um, Sam. <laughs> Sam. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, the, the West is, is very competitive, I think. And uh, they got a lot of great young teams. Um, but that doesn't mean the Nuggets can't compete with them and, you know, um, you know, the West is, you know, anyone could lose in the first round in the West and anyone could go to the finals. Um, so, yeah, it's going to get keep getting harder. All right. Do the Denver Nuggets have a chance to become the NBA, the next NBA dynasty in the Jokic era? Yeah, I'd say they have a small chance of being a dynasty, but um, it they would really need to win the championship this year. Not that you have to repeat, but I just don't feel like their window is going to be open for a super long time to where they could be a dynasty. Um, if Jokic was like 25, I mean, that'd be a different story, but um, he's approaching age 30. Murray's not the youngest player either anymore, so I would say it's unlikely they become a dynasty, but I'd say it's likely they win another championship. But to win more than... More than one more, I'd say, is unlikely. Um, so, I mean, to become an NBA dynasty, um, like the Nuggets, they have won championship under their belt. And uh, I think the Nuggets would have to win the championship in 2025 to become a dynasty. Um, you know, like I said earlier, the Spurs never repeat in their dynasty. Um, but... Um, you know, it's it's possible. Um, you know, Jokic. Uh, I don't I don't see the Nuggets not winning another championship in the Jokic era. But you know, I think it'd be really hard for the Nuggets to win any more than two more championships. I think two champion. I think two more championships in the Jokic or Murray era is very possible, and I think is very likely to happen. But. Um, you know, like, this depends when those championships are, you know, if they're sp split out four or five years apart, you know, would you really c consider that a dynasty winning three championships in eight years? So, you know, I think the Nuggets would have to win, like, two or three more championships at least to become a dynasty, which, you know, Jokic is 29, Jamal Murray is 27, you know, so they don't have, you know, they don't have 15 more years left in their career, you know, so it, it would be pretty hard it would be cool to see the Nuggets put a together a dynasty, but it would be kind of unlikely. Um, would you still rank Jokic and Murray as one of the best duos in the league after this season? Uh, yeah, for sure. I think there's a case to be made that they're... Uh, 
even yeah, you can make the case they're the best duo. I mean, uh, they're right up there with the uh, Brown and Tatum, uh, Luca and Kyrie, Luka and Kyrie um, LeBron AD. They're every bit as good as any of those duos. I feel like when healthy, uh, yeah, I'd say they're definitely top five, and you can make the case for any of those that I named to be the best duo in the league and have a legitimate case, legitimate case. But uh, I feel like. The only thing that holds him back is Jamal Murray's inconsistency a little bit. Mm-hmm, um, when he's sure. when he's good, he's as good as anyone. But um, there's too many times where he where he just kind of disappears. I feel like gets which, injured, doesn't show up at all. Right. Um, yeah, I'd say that is the only reason why I wouldn't say they're the absolute best duo in the league. But I think you can make the case that Jokic is good enough. Um, make up for some of that and make them the best duo in the league, but I'd, I'd probably have them about number three. Um, yes, uh, a lot of people were saying coming into this year that Jokic and Murray were the best duo in the league uh, after winning the championship last year. You know, nobody could s- stop j- playoff Jamal Murray and Jokic is too hard to stop. Um, I th- and like you said, Jamal Murray being inconsistent kind of hold holds that back um and you know last year Jokic and Murray won the championship maybe they just had way too much hype coming into the year and that's why you know they uh weren't as good of a duo in the playoffs and, and it's not really because of Jokic at all it's more more on Jamal Murray's consistency and I think that holds it back I still think Nicole Jokic and Jamal Murray are a top five duo in the league easily I'd probably put them at I could. I think you could make an argument that Jokic and Murray are a number one duo in the league, um, but right now I'd probably put them at two or three, just because the inconsistency of Jamal Murray. And there's also been talk about a Jokic and Michael Porter Jr. duo, um, you know, and and that's like a, that's not, another thing. Uh, we only got a couple, couple more questions. But that's another thing. Like Michael Porter Jr. had a really good year this year. I think in the regular season, he averaged like 19 points a game. He had like a couple 30-point games. Honest to God, there's been more games in this. Like, there's been a lot of times this year where Michael Porter Jr. has been better than Jamal Murray. Like, I think Michael Porter Jr. had a better regular season than Jamal Murray. I, that might be a hot take, but like, going into this year, I Michael Porter Jr. is really inconsistent. And, um, you know, I, I was, there was talks about, okay, should we trade Michael Porter Jr.? Because uh, he doesn't play good defense. He's way too inconsistent. But he played phenomenal in the regular season at times. Uh, he, he was very good alongside Jokic when Jamal Murray was out. M- Michael Porter Jr. and Jokic have developed some chemistry, too. Um, and Jamal Murray, you know, he had his injury problems and it was inconsistent in the playoffs. So, like, Michael Porter Jr. honestly had a better season than Jamal Murray. Was Jamal Murray a little better in the playoffs? Yes, he was. But Michael Porter Jr. really stood out to me. And But back to the question, like, Jokic and Murray, they're still one of the best duos in the league. And, you know, Jamal Murray, it just depends if Jamal Murray can stay healthy and stay consistent. That's the only thing that's holding back that duo. And that's the only thing that's holding back the Nuggets team. Um, will Jokic and Murray win another championship together in Denver? Um, kind of already talked about this already, but yeah, I'd say they probably win. They win one more. I just I have a hard time seeing them win more than one more with all the young, um, all the young talent in the league. I feel like OKC and the Wolves are definitely destined to win one here in a few years. So, mm-hmm. um, but I'd say I'd say we should expect them to win, win one more for sure. And, you know, maybe a second, but I would say for sure one more. They should win. Mm-hmm. If I'll add, um, they also need to bring in uh, some more depth on their bench if they want that to mm-hmm. happen. Uh, they got to have a guy like Bruce Brown uh, come back like they did in the championship season, a score yeah. that you can rely on off the bench. They really lack that this year. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, if we did ca- kind of talk about, about this. Um, yeah, I, I mean, uh, Y- Jokic and Murray, I think they win one more championship t- together. Um, and the only reason why I include Jamal Murray with Jokic in that is if Jamal Murray were ever to get traded um, for another 
star in the league like Kyrie Irving or something. Um, but you know, you know, we kind of talked about that. Like Murray, uh, he, you know, there's not really any talks about him getting traded right now. You know, um, I don't know if there'd be any reason, but like if Jamal Murray, you know, really can't be consistent in the playoffs or, you know, keeps having injury problems and, you know, there might be some talk about trading him. I do think Jokic and Murray will win one more championship together. Will they win a few? Uh, I think Jokic and Murray win one more championship together, but will they win a few more? It depends if Jamal Murray's still on the team. It depends, you know, if he's consistent, if he gets traded or whatnot. You know, I think there is some possibility of Jamal Murray getting traded five years from now maybe, but right now I expect Jamal Murray to be on the team, and I expect Jamal Murray and Jokic to win another championship together and you know hopefully Jamal Murray stays in Denver for his whole career because Jamal Murray is my favorite player in the Nuggets. Um, now our final question who wins the NBA Finals this year Mavericks or Celtics and how many games? I got the Celtics um, to me it depends on after well after watching game one which we just, which we just did um, if the if the Celtics win game two and go up 2-0, I see this being over in five. Uh, if Porzingis plays like he did tonight, I don't see the Mavs having any shot. Um, if the Mavs can somehow steal game two, I think it will go seven. I think we'll have a long series um, that the Celtics win in seven. But um, to me, this game two is critical for the Mavs. They can't afford to go down 0-2. And I, I don't think they can expect to win both games at home against Boston. They're just, they've are just they been too good, and especially with Porzingis being back. Uh, I just think it's kind of their year. Right. Um, so, you know, the Celtics definitely have a deeper team, and they got better defenders, Derek White, uh, Kristaps Porzingis. The Celtics have a d deeper team, but I think the Mavericks have the better duo. I do think Kyrie and Luka Doncic, Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic are a better duo than J Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. But, um, you know, yes, I, I, I've picked the better duo to, you know, I, I, I seem, it seems like I predict the better duo at times. Like, I take, because I would have taken, like, the Nuggets over the Celtics in the finals just because Jamal Murray and Nicole Jokic are a duo. But sometimes it's not all about the duo, it's about how deep of a team you have, how deep of a bench you have. And the Celtics have a deeper team, and a lot of people are very high on the Mavericks going into the season. Everyone thinks Luka Doncic has been popping off, and you know Luka Doncic is going to win their first championship in Dallas. But I'm taking the Celtics here. Unfortunately, as much as I don't really like the the, the Celtics, are like you know they have. You know, I think the Celtics win this series in five or six. Um, after what I saw tonight, the Kristaps Porzingis went crazy. Um, I expect the Celtics to win this series in five. Um, I could see the Mavericks forcing a game six or game seven, but um, yes, uh, I think you, you know the Kyrie and Luka Doncic are going to score their points. They got the better duo, but the Celtics have the deeper team, and I just think the Celtics are all around better than Dallas is. But anything else you got to say? No, sir. All right. Well, that is a recap of the Nuggets season. Uh, it's fairly sad that the Nuggets weren't able to repeat, and it's going to be sad that we go four months without watching basketball. But either way, you know, like for only another week, the Nuggets are still like the reigning, defending NBA champions. But now I might not be able to say that till they win another championship someday. But that's it, everybody. That's the breakdown of the Nugget season. Like, subscribe, comment. This is Blake Egley. I'm Chris Romeo, and that's good Denver. See you next season.